I think the reason why there are so few women in the U.S. Congress is I think there's two things going on. The first is just the rules of the game, the the institutional rules and structures, the way we run our elections, the fact that they're so decentralized. The decision to run for Congress or for any office in the United States is a really individual and personal one. And so it's all about individual people stepping up and being willing to run. And so that sort of leads to the second issue. And that is, I think, a lot of women don't think they're qualified. They really are, but they don't feel that they're qualified. There have been surveys done that show when you ask an equally qualified man and woman if they've ever thought about running for Congress or for any political office, the man will say, oh, of course I've thought about running. I think I'm perfectly qualified. And women don't do that. The answer from the woman will be very different. More often, she's going to think, ooh, I don't think I have the skills for this. You know, I'm not qualified. I think I need to talk to my spouse about this first, and I have to consider my children before I'm going to run. Where men just wake up and think, I'm going to run for president. And we have a history of lots of men who have never run for any other political office before running for president. And that's fantastic. But women don't seem to do that. Women need to be convinced. Um, And a lot of times, by the time they are convinced, you know, the race is half over. And so a lot of times women actually hold themselves back. Um, But we also have a system where incumbents, people who are running for re-election, have a tendency to win. Uh, People who are running for re-election for the U.S. House, for example, win 98% of the time. And most incumbents are men. So as a result, turnover in Congress is very, very slow. In a given election year, there are very few new people. So as a result, whether you want more women, more young people, fewer lawyers, um, it takes a really long time for that change to happen. Yeah, so the first woman elected to Congress in 1916 was Jeanette Rankin. She was only 36 years old when she ran. She was a Republican from, from Montana. And she was very active in the women's suffrage movement. She led the effort to convince the Montana legislature to give women the right to vote in um, 1914. And after that, she was very well known in the state. She was very popular and very well known in the media. So her brother said, you know, you should run for Congress. And so she said, that's a great idea. So she decided to run and she won. And when she got to Congress, um, when she was sworn in, she actually got a standing ovation. The men were actually very welcoming to her and were very excited to finally have a female colleague. Running Start is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization that trains young women to run for political office. We were started um, about seven years ago. Um, There were a group of us who had started another organization called Women Under 40 PAC, which was also a bipartisan organization that raised campaign funds for young women under 40 who were running for Congress. And unfortunately, one year, we didn't actually have any candidates. There were no young women running for Congress that year. There are very, very few women under 40 years old who run for office. And so we decided we had to change that. So we created um, Running Start to really begin to fill that pipeline to start convincing young women that they needed to run for office. So our flagship program is a summer program. Um, It's a week long in Washington, D.C., where we bring 50 girls from all over the United States to Washington, and we train them how to run for office. Um, They have to do a media interview. They have to get in front of a camera like this and do an impromptu media interview. They have to learn how to do messaging. You know, how do you talk about issues to make people care about them. We teach them how to ask for money, which is one of the hardest things that candidates have to do. Most candidates hate doing that. Um, And we teach them how to ask for money. They have to actually practice asking someone for money for their campaign. And we teach them about how to use social media and how to use web, create a web page and all the tools that they need to be effective candidates. Um, And then we send them off and make them pledge that they will run for office someday. Well, it's been really exciting. We've now had our summer programs for seven years, 
And so the, the, the girls who participate in our programs are between the ages of 15 and 18 years old. And so now the girls who were some of the first to participate are now in their mid-20s. They've been graduating from college. And so it's been very exciting to see what's been happening with them. They were, become, they were leaders at, at their colleges. You know, they took on positions of leadership in their college um, and are now beginning to take leadership positions in their communities. And it's been really exciting to watch them grow and starting to take um, these prominent positions in their community.